Hi there, today we're just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to change the blade in a coping saw. So we've got two common types here, we've got the backhoe and we've also got the Irwin which is a DT Shop Classic. So I'm just going to show you how to switch the blade round by the round. Both these saws take exactly the same length of blade and uh, so I'll start off with the, the backhoe. So you have to, it helps if you support if you support that with one hand just to stop the blade twisting and then you just unscrew the handle that releases the tension on the blade and then you've, you've got these sort of sort of cone shaped um, things that just hold the blade in place and two pins so once you've let all the tension off you can just let a bit more tension off, there we go, that clicked there. So, and once the tension's off, you can release your blade, and it's just held in place by these little pegs in here. So, slot your blade back in. Make sure your blade is cutting on the pull stroke. So you set your blade in the right way. It just makes it easier, a bit like a Japanese pull saw. So, position your blade in the slot, like that. Make sure it's connected in at one end. Then again, position your blade in there like that. Support this to stop your blade twisting and then just slowly twist the handle to increase the tension on the blade. And then once you sort of get to sort of meeting a bit of resistance and you're happy with the level of tension, that's actually locked against itself so that won't go any tighter, there's no point over tightening it. And that's, that's, so that's how you do the blade in a backhoe coping saw. Now we'll just show you the same principle with the Irwin. It's exactly the same mechanism, you've got these two cone holders with a slot in the middle to allow the blade to slot in. Uh, again, releasing the tension on the handle, keeping it supported with the other hand to stop the blade twisting. I slowly back that off. There's a lot of tension in the handle on this one. You can see this sort of D shape that's sort of splayed out on the Irwin. So there's quite a lot of tension in the blade and in the handle. So I'll just back that off. Back that off until we're sort of happy. There's still a bit of tension there. So it almost feels like we're going to back it off too much. Keep going. So as you can see, we've already unscrewed it quite a lot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bit of weight on this. Just put a bit of weight on it, and that releases the blade. I'm going to pop the blade back in through the slot, pull it up tight. Again, because 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 there's a lot of tension in this, the, it, oh, it's almost as if the blade's too short. But what you can actually do to get round it, because these are always standard size blades, uh, is you can just push it down and hook it on. And there you've got it. Got it there, hooked on. And then you can just again support it with your le your left hand, tighten it up with your right hand, and you can feel that this saw is actually very good at getting a lot of tension on the blade. You have a lot of you have a lot of play to get a lot of tension, so you possibly get more tension with the with the Irwin coping saw than you can with the backhoe. But um, it's up to you; it's personal preference. And the link for this so these coping saws and the blades is available in the description. So that concludes our coping saw review on how to how to change the blade in a coping saw. Um, this is just a project we've been working on this week. Um, it's a little understairs dog gate. So if you want to check out how we made that. Uh, feel free to check out our other video where we do lots of um, woodworking instructional videos and projects.